Well, hello my YouTube friend. Today it is my pleasure to present you the first of the four videos uh, that uh, I intend to do after my blade shows. Uh, I decided to start with this one because that right there was the most uh, <laughs> unexpected uh, and by far uh, unexpected score uh, I made there. I mean, uh, there or here, uh, there were no way, no way, absolutely no way for me to even fathom or even imagine uh, scoring uh, any Gathcos whatsoever. I mean, uh, uh, I, you know, I have absolutely nothing with that guy. I mean, I, I, literally, I met him for the first time uh, during the show, and uh, if anything, he's, uh, he looks to be like a really kind guy. And uh, I briefly talked to him, but I appreciated the exchange. Uh, so yeah, the guy is uh, is nice, but his knives, uh, you know, you know me. I mean, I'm more focused, if anything, on uh, on makers uh, that are skilled maker, renowned for for that, and they started their business, I would say, or their art, uh, by making knives. Uh, and then they entered the social media. Uh, you know, it's a process. And it's a, 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 it's a process that has to follow some rules, you know, uh, rules of, uh, uh, of kind of history around knives. Uh, you have guys like uh, that are, you know, like that have lived uh, in the knife world because of their parents, like, you know, Frank Fisher, like Jim Burke, uh, Robert Carter. Uh, those guys, they have been, you know, since their childhood uh, in that kind of business. Then others that were, uh, you know, that came later uh, into that, but uh, by some, you know, uh, some usual, usual ways, you know, like uh, going to great makers and inspiration uh, with great makers and everything. So there is a path, you know, uh, that is uh, the usual path since ages. And then after that, you have since like the three or four years that uh, have uh, just been passed because of the social media uh, and the trend of knives, you have some makers, uh, I, I call them makers now, they, but, but you know, they started by just, you know, pimping knives and uh, use the social media as a way to make them known. So basically they were known be and they were famous before even uh, uh, making, literally making uh, uh, anything uh, by their hands. Uh, and that was, to me, kind of surprising. You know, uh, I saw that happening with some uh, some guys. And for, unfortunately, of course, and that, that was to be expected for the vast majority of them, uh, those were only renderings, some created really some dramas, uh, um, like... You know, I'm not going to cite names or whatever, but mainly the most of them, uh, uh, as to be expected, was, uh, uh, I mean, a big nothing. I mean, you know, they came and they 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 they, they did really nothing uh, uh, other than making some renderings or some knives or and they they surfed on the wave of the social media and that's it. Uh, others now. Uh, created and, and, and uh, you know, used that to be famous first, but then after that, they certainly improved uh, their craft too. And uh, I think that I'm not uh, mistaken when I say that Gavco probably is one of them. I never really uh, gave his knife a chance because actually uh, uh, I was a little bit, you know, reluctant because of that. And also, because the design were not really, uh, you know, speaking, talking to my heart. And you see, when you start by that, you the odds that you're going to be interested by uh, by a maker or by his, by his craft are truly unlikely. You see, so it came by this, you know, social media thing. Then the designs are, are not really to my liking. So what and why in the universe would I be interested with it, with his knives when there are so many other makers that uh, uh, I have interest and still cannot get knife from them? And you see, coming from that, coming from that very low <laughs> uh, point, you know, 
getting a knife that to me want to want me to make and to put some significant money on it uh, yeah as i say was kind uh, of unlikely to begin with and that's exactly what happened with this knife uh, it 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 just uh, created a, a situation where from a, a, an unexpected point of uh, from an unexpected situation unexpected uh, uh, yeah situation i got to have this knife in hand and uh, it just made it i i, I couldn't uh, and i and i'm gonna make the review of the knife of course but i couldn't explain it and you know what this is probably speaking way more volumes than anything else because when you are into a maker you are more likely to make some compromises you know you like the craft you know the maker and everything so you know something that will bother you ah okay you're gonna pass you're gonna give him a pass for sure and you're more likely to appreciate of course uh, something that he will make because you're a little bit biased whatever you want to say you're a little bit biased even if you uh, uh, don't want to admit it. With this guy, I was absolutely not biased. Or if anything, I was biased in the wrong way. Not really the wrong way, but I was a little bit biased, but not, <laughs> certainly not to give him a pass uh, uh, in any way, uh, shape or form. So I got this knife uh, at Blade in hands because I was sharing a my room with my buddy Scott and he got to uh, uh, get a batch from uh, Gafco and I suggest that you check his website you're gonna have some nice pieces coming from him and this one was really something different in uh, in a batch the other were the usual you know flipper with a tab that I don't really like and the crazy compound grind you know the things that I don't really like on his design and this one was this tiny piece because it's a small piece yeah, check that I mean overall I think that the blade length is uh, is three inch or maybe a tad under the overall length has to be under eight it's a really really small knife exactly in the idea that i like uh, nowadays so uh, it popped like that because it was smaller because it didn't have the the crazy uh, tab and uh, because i don't know for some reason also the grind uh, as you can see was like a, a more simplistic uh, grind with this big tanto and uh, I don't know for for some reason and and maybe those reasons will be obvious for you but for me they were not actually and and uh, i just you know went crazy for that knife and and, and uh after not even a day i decided to uh, put my money on it and i'm really happy uh, that i did because uh, if anything it's growing on me uh, uh with the day and that's if like you know that i got my monroe and i was expecting that knife for such a long time so monroe apart set apart i got my mcguinness mini person i knew what i would have uh, when i got this knife but i would argue that this knife to me is the most surprising score i've made there and uh yeah kudos to you buddy uh michael gafko uh you're doing great uh, you're improving your craft and uh i think you're just doing the right thing you enter the knife world um, in a special way that was your own uh, and you just did great so really yeah congratulations for that uh, you have uh, uh, my respect and the respect of a lot of people and I think that uh, it's deserved so what we have here is a mini Mako I'll call it that way I don't know how Michael uh, wants to call it but that's a mini Mako uh, the design is a Mako and this small one I think he made only two of them and it's a simple knife and that's what i absolutely adore a simple and small knife uh, there is a nice contouring look at this line on the handle here very very nicely done the contouring is just incredible on that knife and that is the first thing that that that, that impressed me and the line here is just fantastic because you know design wise it follows the line here that you have on the blade and it's I mean just spot on just r really really great um <coughs> you know let's just st state what i don't like on this knife which is really uh, uh, not a lot first of all the hardware the black and hardware i don't think i mean yeah the black is not really the, the, the point but the hardware is like uh, and because of the contouring pro probably uh, popping a little bit it's not flush as you can see you know especially on the clip here you see on the screw the first screw on the clip 
it's a little it's popping for, for sure but i know that the guy has the craft to make it flush and i know that he even does because i saw them uh some um you know uh, uh some hardware hidden hardware hardware sorry uh, with hidden hardware clips so he's got the craft to do it on this knife you know it was more like i think in his idea a simple edc knife which it absolutely is uh so very nice contouring here and again the la the, the only con is that those screws that are popping a little bit like here also but again it's mainly due to the to the high contouring that you have uh, on that knife so simple very nice finish you know a finish that i like it to be even with the blade it's, it's almost the same color look at that it's absolutely almost even with that and that is something that i absolutely appreciate i wouldn't want it any other way than that i try to think uh, uh, to how maybe improve it or make another one that would be different but i think that just the way it is is absolutely perfect for me again for you you might <laughs> find it differently but for me it's absolutely perfect so great handle the um, the ergos are fantastic you put the choice here and then again you have all your fingers that are great uh, it's a small knife but i have like four finger grip on it and here you have a very very nice guard uh yeah it's perfectly designed look how all the lines of the blade follows the handle is just greatly done the action is fantastic whether you want to use any kind of fingers you will deploy it and the thumb also is a little bit oh sorry because i want i need to take some distance to do that oh what the heck <laughs> i'm not good with my thumb lately i mean realistically it's better to deploy it smoothly with the thumb like that than to flick it uh the the flicking fingers are you know all the others you can use the, the fourth or the third or the index or some for some you some of you guys that have a special anatomy you can even use the pinky but i think the best way to deploy it with the thumb is to deploy it like that but of course you can also flick it i just uh, I'm, I'm a little bit stupid but <laughs> but you can flick it anyway i'm sorry for the representation now let's continue with the design something that i really like is that look how aggressive the design is just fantastic and i like the cut that he does here because it follows you know the, the design of the um, it's not just a simple you know he, he thinks of a lot of uh, 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 details to make his design looking great the finish on the blade is this deep stone wash and maybe you will see it here but the, the the flats have a different finish it's more raw and you can feel a kind of texture on the flat i'm not sure that you can appreciate it maybe a very deep stone wash i absolutely adore this big tanto and again no craziness in the, in the comp no compound grind or whatsoever very nice swedge look at the spine how beautiful it is the bird's eye here and you have this very nice finish that you have here on the spine but also on the back spacer you see those lines that you have here all over here it's also on the edges of the clip as you can see here and here but also on this side and that's just fantastic design wise it's done great uh, the the action as you saw is fantastic the the um, tank geometry is great look at that you have a relief cut here with um that provides you a reach uh, uh to you know to disengage the blade look at that and and the view that you have here is really really interesting with the, all those lines on the spine and on, on the on the edge of the handle it's just just greatly done and you have the same uh you know relief uh, um, or the same jimping i would call it on uh, the lock and here so it provides you know something that is even you know for the design that is great that is something that i like so yeah action is fantastic the detent is just boom it's sucked inside uh centering is spot on really really nice detent you won't break it we are heading to the 15 minutes i haven't even said the half of what i wanted to say the clip is uh, uh, minus uh, the screw that are popping very effective this goes in the small pocket of my jean i absolutely absolutely adore that knife uh, and i can only recommend now for sure to check this guy's work uh, you see there's a little bit of a gap here but really nothing crazy overall uh, uh, action great uh, fantastic design 
everything in this knife to me now screams quality and it just made it and now I can certainly relate to those guys who likes Gathco knives because I'm now one of them uh, and I can yeah definitely recommend to check that guy I'm super happy with that knife and I'll catch you very soon for another video bye bye my friends